It is time I properly address the cheating allegations. Last time, you guys criticized me for not providing proper evidence to back up my claims of innocence. Well, today, I'll be going over my source bans and so-called clips of me cheating, showing evidence to help debunk each of them. Enjoy. The Source Bans Previously, I stated that my source bans were fake and manual bans by admins who were upset. I showed evidence before, but I guess it simply wasn't enough for you guys. For this reason, I made an effort to gather more evidence to support my claim. A former admin of both Dark Pyro and Black Wonder has been brought into the investigation. They showed me the full page of each source ban for my account and the account who's being accused as my alt for some reason. Now here's where it gets wild. If you look closely at the bottom, it says banned by admin, admin deleted. First of all, this message only appears when an admin manually bans you. The reason why it says admin deleted is because the admin has either resigned or has been demoted by the owner or higher admins. Why is this relevant? Because this disproves the narrative that I was banned by an anti-cheat software. In reality, as you can tell, that was simply not the case. It is quite clear this was a deliberate manual ban. Now, what's even crazier is that the supposed alt account was actually someone else. If you still don't believe they are a separate person, Look at their recent activity, 120 plus hours in the past two weeks, with hundreds of hours in Elden Ring and CS2. Man, I must have some kind of crazy multitasking and cloning ability. Now of course, I'm sure you've all been waiting for this part of the video, the suspicious clips everyone is foaming at the mouth over. Well, let's first debunk this clip of the invisible spy. First of all, this wasn't me at all, but even if you don't believe me, let's say it was me. Okay. But let's examine the server that this took place on, the TGP trade server. Me and a friend decided to investigate this server for any modifications or plugins. To our surprise, we actually found both an MGE arena and a strange name tag plugin that appears when your crosshair is on another player of the opposite team. This clip is irrefutable proof. Because I saw the spy when he was invisible, but no, that's not what happened. Should, this should server... I, should I use... This server, this server has a built-in plugin that lets me see people's name tags even even though they are invisible as a spy. Look. Okay. Shit. So, right there, see? See? I see your name. Uh -huh. You're standing right there. I can see okay. your name. Now, if I look away, name disappears. But if I look back at you, mm -hmm. name appears. Now, the sniper gameplay. I'm going to use JPEG as a reference and form of evidence to support my statements in comparison. Notice how we both have this weird flick after we kill someone or about to kill someone. My name is so rusty right now. Pretty similar, huh? Now it is time to go over the most controversial clip. The scout clip from my killing friendlies in TF2 video. My weird shaky aim can easily be proven to be a legitimate aim tactic which is explained by this video here. A common problem players have with flicking with semi-automatic weapons is that they miss the first step of acknowledging the crosshair and target position. As a result, the flicks can seem wild and uncontrolled, at times even flicking away from the target when the crosshair was already on them. Each flick needs to be deliberate and have intention. If you're still not convinced I am not a closet cheater, I made pretty definitive proof that I am not a cheater by simply recording my scout gameplay, my hand, and my monitor.
If this still doesn't convince you, you might be suffering from hater syndrome. Lastly, I would like to address something awfully incriminating about all the people spreading lies and false narratives about me. Big Boy Games, Kevin, and the rest of their friends are all working together to harass and spread lies about me. Big Boy Games is actively participating in the harassment. Some examples are them getting their friends to send me downright disgusting and verbal insults at me through emails and Steam comments. Proof of Big Boy Games being affiliated with these degenerates would be him being seen commenting on shitpost hate videos about me. This garbage song made by Jacob, a terrible person I exposed recently, has a comment from Big Boy Games. It gets even worse for Big Boy Games when the video he is applauding and enjoying is uh, full of very homophobic and disgusting lyrics. But that's the lowest of the problems here. The main problem is Kevin. Kevin was the ultimate leader of this defamation campaign. A leak from Kevin's Discord server is irrefutable proof that Kevin and everyone else involved were planning on defaming me and ruining my image in this clip here. As you can tell, this is defamation. They're defaming me. Now, as you can tell, this plan to defame me and ruin my reputation with fake evidence has been a thing for about 10 months. They've been doing this for 10 months. You might be wondering, how can I see this video? Well, it's because the person who sent me the video is the one showing it to me. They are one of the people that can actually see the video. The thing is about private videos is that you can actually invite specific people to actually view your videos. So like you can make it private and then you can invite like a handful of people to actually watch it. So, but besides that, this is honestly disgusting what they are doing. Big Boy Games has also tried to convince people that I am a liar and a fraud without providing any proper evidence. This is a very nasty tactic because it is a way he can prevent me from telling the truth and defending myself against the allegations. Disgusting. All I can say about this is that Big Boy Games is a true liar here. A huge hypocrite and a scumbag. He even uses pictures of me as a way to harass and mock me. This is clearly more evidence to suggest Big Boy Games is doing all of this because they have a deep hatred for me. Maybe I have angered them in the past. We will likely never know, to be honest. He is also friends with Solo Climber, which certainly doesn't help his image either. Solo Climber is a huge degenerate who is associated with cheaters, scammers, and other losers. Also a known troll. To conclude our debunking of the cheater allegations, don't believe them. Until there is 100% clear and consistent evidence with no short clips or slowed down frames to make it seem like I'm using aimbot, and it's not real. This clip right here doesn't even exist in my video. It is clearly staged, with this leaked video proving it was in fact staged and edited into my actual video. Disgusting. But anyway, that's it. The drama finally ends with this video. But be warned, Kevin and Big Boy Games might be cooking up some more fabricated nonsense in the future. Stay vigilant and informed. Love y'all. Subscribe and have a good one. I can see